Hey, it's George from Voice Over Body Shop here at NAMM 2018 again with another innovative and awesome vendor. This time we're over at the Apogee booth where they're re-releasing a mic that a lot of you guys already know about, but it's got some important new features. And here to tell us about it is Brad. How you doing, Brad? I'm good, good. Uh, thanks for joining us today. So the Apogee mic, it's back. It's now called the Plus, is that what it's called? Yeah, we have Mic Plus. So we've actually had three generations of mic. There was Apogee Mic, the original, Apogee Mic 96K, and now we have Apogee Mic Plus. So with Mic, you got a very high quality product that you can connect straight to your iPhone or straight to your Mac, no setup or fuss required, and you had truly a professional quality channel. Now, I think a lot of USB mics get a bad rep because a lot of them are you know, built for convenience, built for affordability, and that's an important part of it. But for us, we never want to sacrifice quality at the end of the day. Uh, if we build something at Apogee, no matter what price point it's at, you can guarantee it's going to be professional quality. So what takes this one to the next level? So the mic has a lot of the features that people loved about the original mic, So, but Mic Plus kind of takes a new level. So you have the same shape, you still have iOS connectivity, still have Mac connectivity, we now have PC connectivity. So that's Ooh, great. Windows. Yeah, all the Windows users out there can finally use Apogee products. Uh, but we fixed a big uh, thing that was a challenge for a lot of um, a lot of mic users before, which was on the new iOS devices, as many people know, you don't have a headphone output. So they would look at the mic, they would connect it to their iPad or iPhone and said, okay, well, how do I hear it now? How do I listen to it? Or if I'm you know, overdubbing, how do I hear my other tracks while I'm recording? So what we did was we uh, included a headphone jack at the bottom here. So now you can connect your headphone straight to it. And so you can monitor straight out of that, both your recorded signal and your input signal. So the other weakness on the iPhones and iPads was latency. Um, you know, the processes are getting better and better, but there's still a little bit of latency that could be distracting, especially for singers and, and voiceover artists. Yeah, so if you're monitoring yourself, you'd hear yourself, but a slightly delayed, a little yeah. bit weird. So we now have this great um, direct monitoring feature and uh, specifically what we call our blend feature, uh, meaning you could blend both your recorded signal with your uh, with the input signal from the microphone, thanks to this control here. So you'll see now we have the uh, input metering, which is kind of nice on there. We didn't have the input metering on the original mic, but now we have this great little blend feature, which allows you to control, again, how much of your input signal is blended with your recorded signal. You have your gain wheel on it, sim similar but a little bit different from the uh, original mic, which was on the side. Uh, but this headphone out, again, just gives you that option for zero latency monitoring. Price-wise, uh, the, the Mic Plus is $249, the Mic 96K was $229, so you know, $20 difference, you have a variety of new features, I think that's pretty worth it. Whenever we do a new product, we never take the same formulas uh, over again, so we always look for ways to make it better. New and improved mic capsule, we have better dynamic range on this, uh, you can really capture a, a wider sort of uh, range of instruments for music recording, but voices also. Um, you don't have to worry about it distorting. It can handle quite a bit more on um, on that front. Uh, the other nice thing is we include now a USB-C cable. So for all the people out there with devices with the USB-C input who are tired of dealing with adapters, we have that cable in the box for you. Hey, there you go. Android compatibility? Android compatibility yet? No, unfortunately not. And and frankly, we, we watch the Android market and look, we're not opposed to it. Many people think that we're we're sort of, you know, tied to the iPhone and we're not. We just we we love iOS because there's some real stabilities and real benefits there that make it such a seamless experience. You connect it, it works, you open any app, it continues to work. It's guaranteed. Exactly, if we can get that with Android, believe me, we will absolutely support that platform. The moment we just don't have it yet, so. Gotcha, gotcha. Very nice, well, it's great seeing you here in the flesh and uh, we look forward to testing one on our show because yes. that's what we do. Yes. Thank you so much, check it out on our website as well. Great, thanks so much, Brad. Take care. See you guys later.